general, the fastest racing line is the straightest line, basically. Now, every corner has its own characteristic and own um, optimal line based on whatever car you're driving. Uh, but for the most part, you want to be going as straight as you possibly can for as long as you possibly can. Absolutely. I mean, I think the, the fast way is just to, to join the dots. It's like when you were a kid and you have those puzzles, you need to join the dots. That's what you need to do to start. A lot of people go out there and try to drive, drive too fast, too quickly. M miss turning points, miss apexes, untidy exits. Precision is the most important thing to start with when you're a, a rookie. Once you can do that, then you can start to build speed. But it doesn't matter if you're starting or if you're a pro, you've got to get your apexes, you've got to get the, the lines correct. Definitely, I mean, the, the normal line would be coming from the outside to the apex and track out again. Uh, but sometimes there's a little bit more grip, a little more to the inside, so then you, you just try to find the optimum out of it. You have to be precise, you know, if the corner is laid out the way you have to, you know, hit the apex or go very close to the apex, you have to hit it. Uh, you hit your marks. And it's just the way you attack the corner, how you press the brake pedal. And an engineer told me once that it's so true, the, the corner starts as soon as you hit the brake pedal. You gotta be going in quick, quick in the middle, and get out quick. It's kind of, uh, there can't be a point at the corner where, you, where you're gonna lose out. You know, to be you know, quicker than the next guy, you've gotta, every part of the corner's gotta be better. You know, some drivers have different styles that they like to brake really late, get on throttle really early, and then in the middle, they might just lose a little bit of, of time. So it's kind of a little bit on driving style. To me, it's about having my hands straight when I'm doing a lot of my braking and a lot of my accelerating. So you'll, you'll see my style has sort of evolved into a little bit more of a diamond of the corner where I want to have as straight of hands as possible when I'm threshold braking, turn the car, and then have the car relatively straight to get the maximum traction off the corner. It depends. What's the straight like you're, you're braking from? What's the length of that straight? What's the length of the next straight? What are the bumps like? What are the surface changes? You know, we deal with that a lot with the street courses. So the, the fastest line changes quite a lot, depending on a lot of outside circumstances. Because sometimes uh, the grip level or the highest grip is not only on the, on the fastest line you could see on the paper. So you have to feel it in a way. With experience, you, you really then pick this up very quickly because you start to feel okay there is a bit more grip there so even if it doesn't look like the best line you better drive there because you just carry more speed into the corners. Sometimes the grip is just on the curb or maybe a half a car width away from the curb or in the braking zones maybe it's you can't be on the absolute ideal line in the braking because it's bumpy or something and you got to move out of out of the way for those things so it's got to be it's part of how you pick the fastest line it's not absolutely the fastest line. When you look at a corner, you often need to process what is after that corner. If there's a half a mile straight away, you really need to emphasize the slow in, quick out versus maximizing your braking and maybe compromising your exit. So the some corners have uh, more importance than others. Um, any corner that leads onto a long straightaway is gonna be more important than a corner that maybe leads to two or three more corners. So. In general, the corners that have long straightaways or places where you're on full throttle for a long time, those are the corners that you want to really emphasize getting back to power sooner and as, you know, as soon as you possibly can and committing to full, to, to full throttle. Yeah, absolutely. And sometimes it means like, you know, breaking a little bit earlier to, uh, to make sure you hit the apex and then maybe not run so wide on the, on the exit to be able to make sure you're fast through the next sequence of turns. So you've always got to think two, three steps ahead of where you are to be to get the right line generally. There will be an emphasis on some corners to be fast in and there will be an emphasis on some corners to be fast out of. Two good examples that are connected to each other. Coming out of the keyhole at Mid-Ohio, I want to be fast out of the keyhole. At the end of the straightaway at Mid-Ohio, turn seven, all I want to do is bring mega speed in. At the keyhole, I've got a really long straightaway and a passing opportunity. At turn seven, there's no real passing opportunity and the next corner that's set up is a really tight tight, tight left-hand corner so I can bring all the speed I can through seven, not worry about the exit, not worry about when I get the power, not worrying about getting over back over to the right side of the track, just bring speed through there. And the time that I make up on the entry to seven is going to be more than if I back it off, set it up, and get a good entry to eight. But the keyhole, conversely, is just the opposite. You've got to back it off in the middle of that corner and get a big squared off and get a big run out of there.
Fast out is most important for long straightaways. Fast in would be important for a place where the corner that, that, that follows it is not as important, maybe a big break zone, things like that. So you can, you have to pick and choose where you squeeze tenths of a second out of, out of, the, out of, the, out of the lap. You set your marks up, get your brakes good, get the platform right as you come into the corner, and when it's time to pull the trigger, hold on to the reins, get that thing out of the corner. Or if you have, like here, you have a long straight after a hairpin, you get that hairpin wrong, you're losing, you can watch on the, the dashboard these days, you can watch the predictive time bleed away. If you get a good exit, you can just see yourself gaining time the whole way. I mean, the, the really cool thing about modern day cars is you've got a, a live uh, delta time uh, in comparison to either wh whoever set the fastest time in the car, be it yourself or, or your teammates. And you can see live if you're going faster or slower at, at any time, any point on the track. He's got a plus or a minus and uh, you always like to keep it on the minus, you, you're going quicker. But uh, yeah, it, it's very fascinating to see if you change your line or your braking point, you can see against the reference immediately what effect that has. And, uh, and, and that's, that, that gives us live information on, on what to do. So it's like it, your very own personal coach sitting there with you in the car. Obviously, when you take a curb, you you go a bit straighter into the corner, so the line is a bit better. But sometimes it upsets the car. So you have to, you have to feel what you can really do. Uh, it's never really easy to know, but then if it upsets the car too much, just stay off it a little bit. When you're using curb, you're pretty much trying to open up the track as wide as possible and just utilize all that extra space that you have. Sometimes the curbs are just rough, you know, they're really jagged edges and you have an AstroTurf next to it, so if you get it a little bit wrong, it can really kill you for speed. And some, sometimes the curbs are nice round ones, which you can take, but obviously the flatter the curb, the better, really. And it just, it changes circuit to circuit. If you can stay off the curbs, that's for sure is best, because then the car is flat, and you can use the under wing of the car and use the, uh, the, the arrow a lot better. But if you gotta use the curbs, you gotta use the curbs.